There you have it, Don. Rob will be challenging you in the next episode for the UPF World Championship. Well, Rob remaining undefeated means that this will be a tough match, but I'm the champion. champion, and after this bout, I'll remain the champion. Welcome UPF World to another episode of Universal Pokemon Federation. Last month we had a legendary battle between Rob and Don Pokemon, where Don Pokemon proved once again why he is the best in the UPF right now. Today we will hear from Don to get his thoughts on the future of his title reign. Also, Maestro Rio returns to take on Kay Fabio in a Pokemon Showdown exhibition battle to see which newcomer will stand tall. Finally, Mark Cameron is going one-on-one -on -one with TKY after Mark lost handily to Maestro Rio last month. Can he regain the momentum to climb back up the ladder? All of this begins now, starting with Maestro Rio versus Kay Fabio. Good evening, everybody. I am your commentator, Barry Flanagan. We have an exciting battle ahead of us. Maestro Rio, who had a great first showing in the UPF against Mark Cameron and Kay Fabio, who's been a bit down on his luck since he started in the UPF. Let's get started with this Pokemon Showdown action. 6v6, here we go. Maestro Rio starting off with Shuckle. And K Fabio with Boltoned. Very interesting matchup. A Hyper Beam to start off. V not very effective. And he has to recharge next turn. Stealth Rocks to get it out of the way immediately. And now Shuckle's left to continue laying out some traps for the rest of K Fabio's team, including a Sticky Web. Sand Attack, hopefully to uh, make Shuckle miss all of his moves, but it doesn't with the infestation, which is going to do a lot of damage going forward. Swift coming out, very, very little damage. Uh, the Bolton gets poisoned in return from the Toxic. Bolton is suffering from all this long-term damage. Another Hyper Beam, not very effective. He has got to learn to not use that against Shuckle. And Maestro is sending out Primarina against Boltend, uh, realizing that Boltend might not have a super effective move against Primarina. He swaps out into Excadrill, and Boltend uses another Hyper Beam, and is eventually wiped out by the Toxic. Maestro didn't have to do much to eliminate K Fabio's first Pokemon. So Hawluch is out, and Excadrill uses a Swords Dance to boost up his stats. Toxic from Hawlucha does not affect Excadrill, and an Iron Head will take it out after that sword stance. Now we've got Alchemy, who is at a type disadvantage against this Excadrill, and an one Iron Head wipes it out for good. Next up is Dusk Noir, and all these traps are really making K Fabio suffer, bringing in any Pokemon. An Earthquake wipes out that Dusk Noir. Rapidash is out now, who actually does have a type advantage in one aspect. Uh, Maestro decides to switch out to Pre-Marina, and an Iron Tail from Rapidash misses. Another one does not miss, but does not do much damage, and Pre-Marina can get off a Calm Mind to secure the eventual victory. Another Iron Tail comes out, again not much damage, and the Surf wipes out Rapidash. Now all K Fabio has left is that Ariados. Can it do enough to secure the victory? It's 
poison type does have a type advantage, but a surf wipes it out very easily. Another great win for Maestro Rio. It's exciting to see where this young man can possibly go in the UPF. He's off to a great start already, and he's got some very tough competition in front of him. We'll see what the future leads. Once again, I'm your commentator, Barry Flanagan, and enjoy the rest of the episode. Maestro Rio and Bembry. Two guys who immediately came into the UPF to take you down. But you know what? Let's open your eyes. Let's open your eyes to something greater, something that needs to change, especially getting crushed by Maestro Rio. Zero to four. This has happened too often. It's happened way too often. So something needs to change. Nobody comes into the UPF and embarrasses you. No one. No one. But yet it's happened twice. So, here's what's gonna happen. A new Mark Cameron, a new you, will be born. A new era is coming. So, here's also what's gonna happen. Maestro Rio, I want a rematch. A 6v6 singles battle, but monotype, a monotype battle. We'll see who's embarrassed next. Good evening, everybody. We have an exciting battle for you all. I'm your commentator, once again, Barry Flanagan. We have Mark Cameron versus TKY. TKY is new to the UPF, their first battle to date. And Mark Cameron, of course, veteran to the competition. Let's get this match underway. 3v3 exhibition match. Here we go. So TKY starts out with a Whimsicott. Mark Cameron opts to start with Charizard. Tailwind coming out from the Whimsicott to open up. But then a Hurricane from Charizard. Does huge damage onto the Whimsicott. Almost takes it fully down. Uh, the Focus Sash keeps it alive though. But confusion from the Charizard uh, is put on to the Whimsicott. Memento coming from Whimsicott, not quite stopped by that confusion, but that Whimsicott will be affected by that Memento taken out. TKY is now down to two Pokemon out of three. Those two Pokemon must be very strong if TKY is opting to let go of their Whimsicott. Blastoise is out now, type advantage over Charizard, but Mark Cameron takes out Charizard. Uh, to go for Heliolisk. Shell Smash from Blastoise to up its stats. Probably has a white herb on it to restore its defenses. Common strat used by trainers. No, no white herb on the Blastoise, so that defense will remain low, and TKY is gonna Dynamax it. But will TKY know about Heliolisk's ability. The ability that absorbs all water type moves, which will render any attack Blastoise uses that's water type completely useless. And Mark Cameron is now Dynamaxing as well, so we have two Kaijus battling it out. Heliolisk and Blastoise. Max Cannonade comes out in that dry skin, as I said, renders that move useless. 
And now the max move from Heliolisk takes out a ton of HP from Blastoise. And now that that electric terrain is up, any electric move Mark Cameron uses is boosted. Max Hailstorm from the Blastoise onto Heliolisk. And does quite a bit of damage, but does not take it out. One more, and Heliolisk will be down. Plus, that hail will do quite a bit to everyone's Pokemon. And one last Max Lightning will take out that Blastoise, leaving TKY to the last Pokemon, while Mark Cameron has all three still standing. And Zation coming out from TKY. This performance from Mark Cameron here is the opposite from what we saw against Maestro Rio. And a Sacred Sword from Zation eliminates Heliolisk from Mark's team. Mark finally lost one Pokemon, but still has two in the chamber. And we have Toxapex. Ooh. However, TKY cancels the battle, giving the win over to Mark Cameron. Mark definitely needed that victory after what happened last month, and TKY with a not-so-great introduction into the UPF. So that's this battle. Thank you all for watching. Let's get back into the action with a word from Don Pokemon. Hello, UPF world. Last month... You witnessed as I defeated Rob in a championship title match, the toughest UPF trainer to date. You might be asking yourself, what is left for your champion? Do I battle the other pathetic trainers of the UPF? <laughs> Jerome Moonraker? Courtney? <laughs> Femrir? You? <laughs> Sitting at home? I can only see that I have to seek greater aspirations. But if I'm the face of this company, I cannot continue to be stopgapped by UPF and its executives through every avenue they have tried to block me, whether it be introducing a new championship belt, finding a new protege. We have already seen what great things I can do. I have already helped this company grow and change from a chaotic wasteland to an episodic dream. In particular, Quadruple A needs to be removed from your station. That can only be achieved with your help. Voice your protests. Make sure your cries are heard. Take action, UPF fans. I can bring us in to a new era that we can all look to and respect. The golden standard. Your champion stands with you. Down Pokemon, you are way out of line with all these threats. Keep it up and I will have you suspended indefinitely from the UPF. <laughs> Moving on to next month's episode though, we will have more information into the investigation as to whether or not VB Wilhain murdered Jerome Moonraker's father. We will also have Mark Cameron's rematch against Maestro Rio. This is going to be a monotype battle where each trainer's Pokemon must all share one type. This is all gonna go down April 14th, so mark your calendars. Thank you all for tuning in. Please check out upfworld.com for all the action. We'll see you next time.